Don Burke was a fixture on TV and radio for years. Burke's backyard was quintessential family viewing. Today's celebrity gardener. I adore Japanese maple. Just dig in a bit of rock and stuff. His reputation is in tatters after a litany of allegations of sexual harassment and bullying. You've been described today as a psychotic bully, a misogynist and a sexual predator, among other very serious allegations. What do you say? I think I got a bit to apologise to. So he was sort of a superstar. He made gardening, you know, a, a ratings blockbuster. It's inevitable if you've got a garden that sooner or later you're going to get some plants in the wrong spot. He really resonated for Australians. He, he, was, he was hugely successful and it made him a lot of money and it made him a name. Um, and it also, it would appear, went to his head. I'm a perfectionist that drove people very hard and although I felt we did have a happy office, um, there's clearly, when you look at the people that are complaining now, there's a lot of people that don't like me and they can't all be wrong. I first met Don many years ago when I was asked to drive in the uh, Celebrity Grand Prix. Uh, and it was when BMW were sponsoring the Celebrity Grand Prix and their proving ground, their training ground was on the Gold Coast. And so they flew all of the supposed celebrities up to the Gold Coast to do training. And Don was there and so Don and I were billeted into a car to train together. So we'd had you know, several hours in a car and that was the first time I ever met him and I, I thought he was quite fun. And he didn't try any, there was no nasty stuff, like there was nothing. So um, I heard, you know, occasional rumours about him over the years, but certainly I never never got any of it. it. It's interesting that you're saying that because you released a statement today essentially questioning or, or saying that you have no recollection of a lot of these allegations, right. a lot of the things that were said about you that they didn't happen, that you didn't say them, you didn't do them, you are not that man. Are you now saying that you think maybe you did do them, maybe you are that man? No, no, I'm not that man at all. I got a lot of failings, but no, I'm not. Uh, that man. They were pretty comprehensive allegations. They sort of fitted with some of the stuff that I'd heard over the years, fitted with the, the tenor of some of the things that I'd heard over the years, but there was obviously a lot more detail, clearly. Would your sense of humour have run to saying to a young TV writer that she looked like she'd be a demon and no. what sexual positions did she like? No. And what sort of an idiot would say that? Like, to what end would anyone say that? It was so well chronicled and so well researched that I thought, okay, this is true. And then, you know, I spoke to a couple of people and said, was he really, you know, I spoke to a couple of people at the network, was he really like that? You know, was it, oh my goodness, you know, and they said, yep, he absolutely, yes, he was. You know, it was that and it was worse. So that, that sort of led us to that day. I'm sure I would remember Some of those things that I'm supposed to have said are absolutely despicable and no person should say that to another person. It's not so much no man should never say it to a woman. No one should say those things to other people and the things that I've said I didn't say, I did not say. Normally I ask people why they're doing an, why they're doing an interview and I didn't on this occasion because of the way the interview sort of, the, the direction the interview took very, very quickly. Um, I believe that he probably thought that he had some friendly history with me um, and it would be okay and that he had obviously friendly history with the Nine Network and that he would be okay. I think he also thought, because he started out the interview by dropping the you know, supposed bombshell that he'd been unfaithful in his marriage. There are things I've done that I'm not at all proud of. Um, Prior to Maria's ill health, I had a number of affairs, which I should never have done, and I think I let everybody down with that. My abiding guide in an interview is that I have to be fair, I have to listen, you know, because he didn't have to be there. Um, he didn't have to do it, so I have to at least respect that. But I, I always try to ask the questions that people are yelling at their televisions at home. and. You know, they're not always yelling nice questions at home. So I have to sort of translate that to something that's going to keep the conversation going, but that isn't going to let someone get away with something they shouldn't get away with. She said that she was demoted after you called a young researcher a dumb slut 
and she stood up to defend that young researcher. No, it never happened, no. Uh, and it never called one anything like that. Would you have called someone a, a, a dumb slut? No. Because you, you, you're ripe, you know, your language is ripe. I mean... It is. You know, you're not, you're not shy on four-letter words. But not used at people. There's always an advance and a retreat and an advance and a retreat. Um, but I, I don't think any of the questions were too tough, but he may disagree. <laughs> I've worked in television for 36 years and most of them in prime time and it's been robust and no one's ever showed me a donkey bestiality video or, or tried to pull my bra off or... Well, I've never actually seen a donkey bestiality video. I've never owned one and I would never show one to anyone. I don't know what was going on in his head because it's his head, not mine. Um, and he should be able to speak for himself. That's what those interviews are about. It's not about me saying this is what Don thinks. But my sense was that he felt like he was kind of losing ground a bit and he started scrambling for answers and suddenly he's popped it out that he doctor Googled himself and, you know, diagnosed himself with Asperger's. You've never before said that you've got Asperger's. No. And I haven't been medically diagnosed, but I've worked it out that that's what, what I've got. And, and what it is, and it's a terrible failing. I have difficulty looking anyone in the eye. I can look in a lens, but I have real difficulty looking anyone in the eye. That, uh, it's a typical thing. And I, I miss all their body language and often, the, you know, the subtle signs that people give to you, like back off, that's enough. I don't see that. I suffer from a terrible problem with that, of not seeing. And, and no one can understand how you can't see it, but you don't. But of course, people with Asperger's and anyone who advocates for people with Asperger's thought that was an outrage that he would use that as an excuse for um, such terrible, you know, allegations. In a sense, you know, it, it, this could be a good time for me. Does it cause you to look in the mirror and, and think... Absolutely. Who doesn't? You know, how have I, how have I created such... Hatred. Hatred. It does. And I'm the first to say, that's my fault. That is my fault. I have done that. I didn't get a sense that he was sorry. I got a sense that he was um, sorry that he was in that position, but I don't think that he was sorry about his behaviour. That was not my sense. I, th I thought he resented being in that position. So might you be guilty of all of these things? No, absolutely not. No, 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 no. What, what I've defended as the words that I didn't say and all the rest of it, I'm quite certain of that. And, and I say it without malice towards those people. And I do apologise that I probably gave them a horrible time and all the rest of it. But a lot of those words, I think, have just grown over the years. Or whatever. Remember, this is 30 years ago, a lot of this. Who remembers exactly what happened 30 years ago? I think maybe the full impact of that maybe probably didn't hit him until it started to be analysed and discussed as it was everywhere the next day. Um, but I don't, I've certainly never heard anything from him since. Mm.